Welcome. Today we will discuss the, how the blastocell form in the embryo, blastocell formation. So in this lecture, we will be talking about the compact morula, compact morula, then sodium potassium pump, solute gradient, and due to the solute gradient, there is a fluid movement in the embryo, and finally the blastocell production. So let us discuss this event and how the blastocell form in the embryo. So compact morula, after successful fertilizations, when the embryo undergo cleavage, then during the process of cleavage, the cells which produce as a result of cleavage, that cells are called blastomere. And when the blastomere number reaches to 16 to 32 numbers of blastomere, that structure is called morula or mulberry. Blastomeres during that process, blastomeres are loosely connected to each other. They are loosely connected. So the compact, the compaction, it, it starts when the blastomere developing cell to cell adhesion that is uh, intracellular tight junction so the cells between the cell there there will be development of the adhesion and that process is called compactions and many believe that this compactions occurs when the embryo is in a stage eight cell stage that process initiated at this stage but and the fully this com when the fully compaction develops, that structure is called the, the, at the time of morula, that is compact morula. So let us see how it is uh, now developed in, in this diagram. So we have a morula, uh, which cell number 16, 16 numbers of cell, blastomere. So these cells and these cells, they are loosely connected. They are loosely connected. So, when these two cells are loosely connected, they develop the cell to cell adhesion between the two cells, like suturing between the two cells. This cell to cell adhesion between the cells or inter intercellular tight junction develop. And as a result of tight junction, the compact uh, compaction, this process is called compaction. And uh, this morula, when they develop the tight junction, then this is called compact morula. So, compact morula is developed as a result of cell to cell adhesion or intercellular tight junction development. So that is how the compact morula is formed during the embryogenesis process. So, let's see sodium potassium pump. How does it work in the embryo? So this pump is an active ion transport pump and it is uh, work by utilizing the ATP energy. The sodium potassium pump is placed in the basal membrane of prophectoderm. And uh, this pump removes three sodium ion out and takes two potassium ion in. As a result of that, a solid ingredient is created or established within the embryo and which causes the induces fluid movement. Due to that solid ingre, sol, uh, solute gradient, the fluid moves in the embryo and the fluid will accumulate and form a fluid filled cavity that is called blastocell. That is how the blastocyst blastocell blastocell is form and the whole structure is called blastocyst so let's see in this structure suppose this is a compact morula all the cells they develop the uh, cell to cell adhesion they are in compact so uh, this red color is the sodium potassium pump every cell this trophectoderm which is outer part of uh, embryo that that cells they develop the that they they have the sodium potassium pump. These pumps are localized in this area, 
the basal membrane of the trophectoderm. So their function is just remove. Their function is to remove three sodium out and takes two potassium in. And to do this action, they use the ATPase energy. So this enzyme is uh, help for utilization of ATP or hydrolysis of ATP. The energy is released, and that energy is used to uh, exchange this ion, three sodium out and two potassium in. As a result of that, a solid solute gradient has created in the embryo. And therefore, the fluid move from outside to inside. If the if the embryo it is in if if it is in uterus, then uter uterine fluid will move inside. So as a result of that, uh, the fluid fill cavity is formed due to the solid uh, solute gradient, and uh, that that is called blastocele. And the whole structure, the embryo at this. Uh, time it is called blastocyst. Blastocyst embryo they have the blastocyl. So that is how the blastocyl and the blastocyst embryo formed. Okay, thank you.